emotion. Um, a lot of it is, is passion. And a lot of it is we are increasingly moving away from differing opinions based on a shared set of facts. Um, you know, I, you guys may remember, you know, learning about sourcing different uh, news outlets. You know, the last time we were a deeply divided nation goes back to probably the Vietnam War. Well, you had three network TV stations where everyone was getting their facts and then differing opinions from that shared set of facts. And we are moving increasingly in this day and age of social media and cable news and, 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 and whatnot that we are developing very strong opinions with people who are very principled and believe that their view is right. That it's hard when we don't even have shared understanding of the same facts. Okay, and then how is this year's election different from past elections, and what do you think made it different? In a literal sense, it was uh, it, it was the the mass mail-in voting. Um, we've had mail-in voting before, but in, in Pennsylvania, you always I'm pretty sure you always had to have a reason you know, uh, out of the state, out of the country, whatever, to get your absentee ballot. And this year it was just done by request only. And allegations were made about, uh, you know, a lack of security. And um, I, mean, I remember hearing and, and actually thinking it might be true at first that just every voter in Pennsylvania was going to get a mail-in ballot. And then there was going to be the temptation, and, and rightfully so, to send in your mail-in ballot and then try to go and vote. And, and try to vote twice, either for Trump uh, or for Biden, um, but that wasn't true. I mean, you had to you had to actually request it. I requested one. I got one in the mail, had my name on it, so there was a little bit more security than even I at first uh, had thought. And so, because there was a different process, that opened the door to various criticisms and allegations. Okay. The short answer was that. Um People, you know, who, who truly believe that the, um, that the government was stolen from them because of their different views decided to go to the government and um, one of the basic tenets of the government is that you can have, like, guns in order to take away the government if you think the government is unjust. And apparently they did. Um, so on one side you have that. Where did they get those ideas from? Uh, a bunch of different news sources. So the longer answer is, what are we dealing with? Which, at least in my opinion, which doesn't count for anything other than my opinion. Um, the, we, we're dealing with alternate, not alternate facts, but two sets of facts that are both true at the same time. Where you have, you know, a bunch of news sources that say that, the, that you know, that Joe Biden won the election fairly and squarely and that Trump has not conceded. And in another group of news, which says that Trump won the election fair and square and Biden hasn't conceded. So which one's right? Well, that's the story of, you know, of American history. I mean, it's what choices have people made? So um, I, I can't tell you which is right. I can only tell you what I believe and from the sources that I use. So, you know, yeah. This year's election was unique in, because of the coronavirus in that, you know, people were not able to physically they, they, they many believed, including myself, that I did not want to go into a crowded place and stand beside somebody while I was waiting in line to go and vote. I voted in every election set since I was 18 years old. Um, so that was, oh my God, 60 years. Uh, anyway, um, you know, the uh, so many people, again, myself included, use the uh, mail-in ballots, which to many people they believed, uh, again, because of different news sources and ideas, um, that those were not as secure, that people were sending in multiple versions and whatever. Did they? I, I could not tell you that. Um, again, from the news sources that I trust, I would say there's very little widespread evidence of that. It, could it mean like somebody, let's say in Western Pennsylvania, there were 18 votes that went differently? Maybe? You know? Were there 18,000 votes that went differently? I, I, I doubt it. But uh, that's been lit litigated in the courts, and um, they haven't found any evidence so far.